What is going on everyone? Uh, this is Rossi and welcome to a very different video today here on a Sunday. Very chilled video here on Sunday, like I just said. Um, so what I'm going to be doing today is talking about the Pro Inform cards. Now, I uploaded a video playing against Eric um, <clears throat> a couple of days ago. And a lot of you in the comment section are really um, confused and unsure about what actually has been going on. So I thought I'd just um, tell you guys about it. Show you some of my past um, playing against professional footballers, playing with professional footballers cards. Luckily enough, I've had the ability to do both. Before we start the video, if you guys want to buy any coins, check out FIFA UT store. Their link is in the description. Use code ROSSYHD for a 10% discount. Fat and juicy. So, what is a pro inform card? Because a lot of 50% uh, of the people in the comment section down below didn't even have a clue what the fuck it was. So, um, a pro inform card is a professional footballer and plays on my team. So, say I am uh, Luke Shaw. I'm Luke Shaw. Just got back from training. I'm going to play FIFA just like any of us. Um, he goes on my team and um, EA actually give him his own special card because he's in the database and stuff. Um, it's easy for them to do, obviously. They couldn't just like give like a, a YouTuber a card or anything like that. They have to do players that are already in the database and stuff. So as you guys can see in the background, coming up very shortly, I've found all the pro and form cards I could possibly find. Even a brand new one that came out yesterday, Samir Nazari. Um, there's a lot of ones from Bale to last year to Rodriguez last year. Um, Tim Howard. There's um, Luke Shaw, obviously. Phil Jones, Bruna. Taylor, Guffrey, Akin Felmer, obviously the strongest player in the game. So, they've all got pro and form cards. So what you guys can do is come up against them online and, um, you know, you can actually see how good they are. I'm not going to say they're OP because they're not overpowered because they should be good. That's the whole point. 95 pace, you know, 98 pace, 96 dribbling, you know, all the good stuff that goes along with it. But you may be thinking, what's the point of this? But I thought I'd show you my history, okay? So, I actually got a chance to play with Joey Barton's card um, like, like a year or two ago. So, what happened was he didn't want to play FIFA anymore. He handed it down to his brother. His brother didn't, um, I think he had two of them at the time. And he sold one um, on the market for like 15 million. And there's another thing as well. Back then, you could sell your cards. So professional footballers could sell their cards. They were tradable. So um, Joey Barton's brother sold his for 15 million. Someone bought it and someone lent it to me for a few videos. You're going to see some highlights coming up from a couple of years ago. His shot was unreal. But now they've changed it. Now they've made it so um, you can't trade the, be the item, basically. So I don't know if you remember last year. I think Harry Rotashaw, he made a video with um, Jay Rodriguez's card. Because basically what he did is he went on his account and played like that. Um, so because he was untradeable, that was the only way he could do it. But this year, what I've done is managed to play Eric Bruner. So obviously, I played against him on his account, playing against him. Um, so that's how I come. This how that's how this video basically come across. Because um, I wanted to. Have, I was looking, reading all the comments like I always do, and um, a lot of people were unsure. Look at Luke Shaw's team coming up in a minute. By the way, it's absolutely incredible. Um, but there's no highlights to that to be honest, because he's a left back and you don't really see like him do too much. But um, yeah. So basically, the moral of the story is. I was reading through the comments section and I was looking through and everyone was like, what is a pro inform card? How can we get one? Um, <clears throat> Rossi, can you get one for a video and stuff? Or like do it to like a, a review? I think I saw a couple of comments. So just to narrow it down, the only way you boys can get one, step one, become a professional footballer, get yourself signed up, get yourself not on the team, even if you're a bronze card, and then you have a bit of leverage. But until then, not happening. Number two, I can't do a re review on any of them because they're not tradable and I'm not... Basically, I'm no one's. No, what footballer is going to give me their account details? Really, that just ain't going to happen, is it? It's just not realistic. But number three, if you guys want to see me play against Luke Shaw, or someone again with his 95 rated card, make sure you drop a like on this video, drop a comment as well. Um, just saying, you know, if this video has cleared up a few bits for you. At the end of the video, you can go back and watch the actual videos of me playing against Luke Shaw and me playing with Joey Barton's card, and now Eric Bruner. So there's been three uh, different pro informed videos on my channel playing against Eric Bruner. Playing with Joey Barton's card when you could. This was like a couple of years ago. You can't now. Playing against uh, Luke Shaw. Uh, I had uh, two videos with him, so that's pretty cool. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a like down below. Sorry, for, it's just like a chilled video today. No like squad builder, no packs or anything. I thought I'd just make a nice video showing you some old clips and some old highlights. And talking about something that's very... Um, questioned across the FIFA community. They don't know what it is. So, anyway guys, I'm out. It's been a pleasure as always. Peace.